Christmas in Shreveport. <laughs> it might be a little chilly. We'll have to check the forecast. But Yeah, Monday's the big game, and uh, regardless of the weather, they will yeah. be playing for sure. Gary Pinkle and the football Tigers arriving in Shreveport. They'll hit the practice field tomorrow, preparing for Monday's Independence Bowl game. Azu getting in this afternoon. The opposing North Carolina Tar Heels will head that, the, head that direction tomorrow. Off the plane to the hotel, and Tigers getting right to work with video games. While the Tigers have lost their last two bowl games, Coach Pinkle says he is going with the same routine leading up to Monday afternoon's game. We have a system in place that we do, and basically for us, we start tomorrow is uh, it will be a Tuesday practice for us. I don't care what, I don't know what the day it is. I don't care what day it is. It's Tuesday to us. And we just go all the way to game day, and that's pretty much what we do. And we prepared from that point to, uh, you know, weeks ago to get to this point right here. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, we, we, I want our players to have a good time, have a lot of fun, but I also want to prepare well, put our focus into our, into our uh, position meetings, our focus into practice, uh, have a good time in Shreveport, and, uh, and, and we want to compete and play our best football game against North Carolina. One Tiger arrived in Shreveport early. It's his hometown. Wide receiver LaDamian Washington got home earlier this week. Today he was honored at his old high school, given the Mayor's Award of Excellence, kind of like the key to the city. Washington says being a Tiger now, he doesn't always get the royal treatment back in Louisiana. I think that's huge. It goes to show that I have a, a big support system back home. I got a lot of uh, Shreveport fans, and I mean, I, I think that's good because, I mean, this is my hometown. I mean, a guy going to Mizzou and not LSU, I mean, you don't get too much love in Louisiana, but, I mean, <laughs> it's good to see that the mayor supports me. While the football Tigers prepare for the bowl game, the basketball Tigers are in St. Louis ready for the annual Bragg and Rights game with Illinois tomorrow night. Mizzou comes in at 11-0, ranked number 9 in this week's AP poll. The Illini are 11-1, having lost their first game to UNLV last weekend. Illinois is ranked number 25. This should be a good test for the Tigers. First bragging rights game for head coach Frank Hay. So I'm, I'm excited about being a part of it. It's going to have an NCAA tournament feel is what I hear. So um, they're, they're a well-coached team, uh, really talented, uh, off to a great start. Um, a top 25 ball club, so it's a, you know, it's a game that at the end of the year, uh, when March rolls around and that Sunday, and those people in that room, they're talking about, you know, uh, you know, seedings and, and and NCAA tournaments. This is a game that will, you know, help a team. Tigers and Illini tomorrow night, eight o'clock in St. Louis. College basketball tonight in Chicago. The Cougars from Columbia win in tournament play over Aquinas. 66-57, Bob Burchard's team now 10-4. and four. A big week of high school basketball in Jefferson City next week. Go to Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. Tom has a rundown on the Missouri National Guard shootout that starts on Tuesday, then boys and girls action. On to hockey, the Blues on the road in Colorado tonight, skidding against the Avalanche. Brian Elliott gave up two first period goals. The Blues, though, scored two in the second. Chris Stewart gets one here. That tied the game up at 2-2. Avs, though, would come back and go on top. Controversial goal here late in the second. Jay McClement scores, but the net comes free. They reviewed it, and they counted. Colorado leads at 3-2 just into the third period of play. And Rod's Big Old Fish is brought to you by MidAmerica Bank, a bank that's good for you and your community, too. Columbia's Matthew Bailey had quite a fight getting this one in at Mark Twain Lake. That is a 28-pound big mouth buffalo. Matt says he was fishing for crappie and got a big surprise in the big old buffalo. And here's a first, the youngest ever to appear on Rod's Big Old Fish, Julia Deanne Buffington, born yesterday. Julia's dad is Helias basketball coach Josh Buffington. Mom, Jamie, is doing well. So are big brothers Rowan and Ross. Julia weighed in at a very healthy 9 pounds, 7 ounces, 21 inches. She's expected to have a great future in basketball. And we hope fishing. Special edition of Rod's Big Ol' Fish. Proud grandpas Don Buffington and Pat Dubert. We'll see which grandpa gets to take her fishing yes, first. Looks like she's dreaming of fishing in that picture. <laughs> and you said nine pounds plus? Nine, seven. That's a keeper. <laughs>